global market in bamboo which is plentiful in almost all states of the northeast was highlighted by Meghalaya chief minister Dr Mukul Sangma recently who urged the states to tap this potential to its fullest for quick economic progress the meghalaya chief minister has asked the central government to amend rules and place bamboo in the grass category taking it out from the present timber category which restricts its usage there is a 60 billion us dollar market a global market on bamboo is over 60 us dollar 60 us dollar 60 billion us dollar yeah so a market of over 60 billion us dollar global market with india's 90 hectare of bamboo plantation 90 lakh hectare of bamboo plantation uh, exist in india and more than 50% of that is in northeast but india share in bamboo products globally out of the 60 billion us dollar market is only 4.5% less than 5% whereas china with just 40 lakh hectares of bamboo plantation as per the statistics they have captured more than 50% of the global market that means over 30 billion us dollars business is under the control of china india still import so these are issues uh, which i would like to flag before all the Uh, potential investors also as policy maker what corrective measures we need to take what uh, uh, policy reforms we need to have what uh, amendment of the existing laws are required to be resorted to by uh, the union government it is pertinent to note here that the central government has launched a national bamboo mission in 2006 2007 to promote growth in the bamboo sector under the scheme The government has established many new bamboo nurseries like this one at Kola Sib Mizoram. The nurseries raise bamboo seedlings, give it to the farmers, thus enabling them to grow and earn from bamboo. The nurseries also conduct research on bamboo, help to rejuvenate old plants and spread awareness about best farming methods among other works. Apart from Kola Sib, Mizoram has another central bamboo nursery at Turiel. The youth of the northeast would do well to take note of the vast potential in bamboo and choose this sector as a career option. The 21 sector Assam Rifles organized a 12-day national integration tour for 25 deaf and dumb students of Tripura. The tour was flagged off by Tripura governor Shri Tathagata Roy who first interacted with the special children and told them he was very happy to meet them and that he too grew up in the northeast the children were given sumptuous treat of cake and snacks before they embarked for Delhi Agra and Jaipur the children would also visit Shillong the children would meet president Pranab Mukherjee and also see the Assam rifles training at close quarters as part of their trip और आसाम राइफ़ल की ओर से एक कोशिश है ये इन बच्चों को बाहर का जो उज्जवल नज़ारा है हमारे देश का वो दिखाने के लिए हमारे देश की जो संस्कृति है जो देश का कल्चर है जो देश में डेवलपमेंट और विकास हुआ है उसके बारे में दिखाने के लिए ये आसाम राइफ़ल की ओर से एक कोशिश है जिससे कि हम लोग एक नेशनल इंटीग्रेशन टूर भारत की एक एकता की ओर एक हमारा ये प्रण है अपार्ट फ्रॉम द चिल्ड्रेन आसाम राइफल्स ऑल्सो स्पॉन्सर्ड अ साइकिल रैली ऑन द सेम डे which too was flagged off by the Tripura governor from the Assam Rifles headquarters at Kunjaban Agartala the cyclists wearing violet jerseys and black shorts would travel from Agartala to Shillong via Haflong Lamding and Guwahati Guru Ruben Mashangwa The icon of brotherhood between hill and valley people of Manipur rocked Delhi with his electrifying performances during the recent Destination Northeast 2016 festival organized by the Ministry of Donna. He started off with his most famous Sunshine in My Life song which had the audience in raptures. Sunshine in my life. 
Everywhere in North East is uh, not in peace, except Mizoram is peace. But I don't know when it will be uh, become a become a peace. But I I really want to say and I appeal the people, the North East people, please give a chance of peace to the artists and the sportsmen and the layman people, so to everyone. So I want them please bring back peace, and we want to live peacefully. He might be 55 years old. But Guru Ruben is young at heart and he is much liked by the youth for his vibrant songs and stage presence. He leaves good messages for the youth. The youth is the pillar of uh, future nation. So please be a good person and be a, be a uh, good uh, patience and please bring and make it a beauty of this motherland. He himself might be singing folk and rock numbers in English and his own Tankul Naga tongue, but Guru Ruben is a nationalist at heart and says that he idolizes Sachin Dev Barman, Lata Mangeshkar and Asha Bhonsle from his childhood. <laughs> Sajindya Burman music and Sajindya Burman make a music and Lata Mangiskar, Asha Prusri, Kishokama, Muhammad Rafi, they sing the real stuff, real feelings they sing. So I, I really I feel good when I listen that music, you know, I so lively in my life. 